welcome to biochar channel today i would like to discuss on how the biochar or the nature based solutions and ecosystem based adaptation would help improve the musi river musi river development is one of the prestigious projects of the telangana government as an ecologist i have designed several concepts on treating water bodies and uh, here i would like to present certain concepts uh, where by integrating biochar as well as bringing up other elements uh, into its uh, development that would definitely help uh, uh, right from addressing the carbon sequestration as well as improving the temperatures or the quality of life of the people and greenery around the musi river and improve the water quality and add on lots of services that a river provides not only for the people but also for the ecosystems and other life here is my detailed presentation on this concepts musi river which originates at vikarabad which uh, travels around 50 to 70 kilometers uh, before it reaches the hyderabad stretch so the government uh, is intended to develop a boat 50 plus kilometers stretch of this musi river which passes through hyderabad so it's a very big challenge government is also studying other concepts uh, globally but here the challenges are uh, not only development of musi river but uh, flood control is another thing and uh, the water security of hyderabad how we could bring up with this musi river and how to also meet the aspirations of the people and uh, preserving the aesthetics and uh, even the uh, river ecosystem values so there are so many components which need to be worked out here including beautification of the whole area and also ultimately the economic uh, development around this uh, river these are the various concepts that i'm bringing up here this are for idea generation or for adaptation as uh, there are many planners that would be involved but let us not concretize uh, the musi river in the name of uh, development or rejuvenation as in various other projects uh, they don't have any aesthetics and values uh, of development so here we have to bring down the cost of uh, development also that is very very critical and important and uh, by involving community at every stage uh, and uh, as community as partners or the people we have all kinds of people in hyderabad right from artists to engineers to and uh, everybody who is has who is having an interest in musi river development and uh, it should be a movement it should not be a government project only then the ownership happens and uh, then sustainability of the river exists and it becomes pride of hyderabad ecological restoration this is to improve the water quality and uh, restore natural habitats and enhance biodiversity along the musi river without uh, ecological restoration uh, including the river development principles would not exist so a river had been existing since ages and uh, here we want to have access to that uh, river system so without damaging its ecology or the riverine system uh, any development or too much interference or artificial things into the river is very bad so already musi river had been or being used especially for to drain the sewerage of hyderabad and uh, this has all the consequences as of now which we could see right from the pollution the smell or the biodiversity of this musi river is lost and its capacity to contain the floods and uh, also to treat the waters that flows through it all these things have become very limited therefore ecological restoration is of top priority of the musi river 
Community engagement is one of the important aspects in the redesigning or the current ongoing uh, program where ultimately the communities or the people around the Musi river system would have access or would become closer to it. Here as well as after creating the elements, the people should have or use the spaces around this river for social, cultural and recreational activities that foster community interaction. This is very important. So all these years people had been developing the water bodies or including streams and rivers where these things are fenced or people are kept away and uh, even vertical gardens are developed so that people don't see uh, the water body. So now it should be so open that people come closer to the river for which we need to create all the spaces of social, cultural, recreational activities and everything say there could be a small boating activity within the river system also. Ultimately any city has the priority of uh, the economic development. So here around the Musi uh, businesses that existed earlier have moved out because the people had been moving out or away from the water bodies considering that they are the most uh, polluted and they cannot stay anymore closer to water bodies. Whereas in civilization we have seen that uh, people were living closer to the water bodies. So here another economic development comes from uh, the sustainable businesses that would develop around the Musi including eateries and cultural spaces and uh, that would add value as well as create employment to the local communities also and uh, any other uh, the structures that would come up we had to see that they doesn't interfere with this um, river but they can accommodate them around this Musi river. Aesthetics is uh, very very important uh, while developing the Musi river and here we could combine both the old charm of Hyderabad and modern architecture to create a visually appealing and culturally significant public spaces. So what we can do, uh, how we can develop. So now we have the options for adopting uh, that is application of hybrid bioengineering technologies. So here uh, we could bring the materials like biochar which can improve both soil and water quality as well as enhance uh, the growth of vegetation uh, when we develop the Musi river and it could also uh, used for soil quality improvement and purifying water and all that. Application of bioengineering technologies within which you would bring up certain uh, materials such as biochar which would improve the soil and water. The quality of water will be improved and uh, also the heavy metals or the pollutants anything that is left within the waters will be absorbed by this biochar. So this is an important area where I have uh, lots of experience and understanding. So that's why I want uh, this kind of materials to be brought into the Musi river uh, development. Riparian buffer zone that is uh, the buffer zone around any river that is very very important uh, and these need to be created and all rivers uh, have the right to have these buffer zones. And within these buffer zones also by using biochar and uh, amended with the soil, local soils to filter runoff or reduce sedimentation and improve water quality, many things can be brought into. Wetland creation. So here again we need to create uh, at certain places wetlands so that would add lots of value and uh, which can be integrated with uh, biochar and these constructed wetlands would enhance the capacity for nutrient absorption and pollutant removal. This will help in treating the urban runoff 
and uh, waste water before it enters the uh, river next to this river system and also the flood waters can be diverted into this wetland areas so that uh, all the water that goes through mosi river doesn't get drained off uh, rather it would also reach at the local aquifers and increase the greenery and development of the biodiversity as well as all the birds and uh, animals or fishes everything related to wetlands uh, they would be enhanced so wetland created wetlands are an important aspect so this constructed wetlands at least four five need to be uh, created uh, close to the musi river so it would add lots of value as i said aquifer recharge again this is a very important aspect as uh, hyderabad is interior and uh, we are already getting water from very far off places right from krishna and godavari and also manjira water we are consuming but uh, people are dependent on ground water ground water is an important um, thing here because it's semi arid environment and uh, so whatever water that uh, falls as rainfall or whatever precipitation happens here and uh, this infiltration uh, basins need to be identified and where we could add bhr also in these basins and to pu- purify water as well as so that this water percolates into the ground water ensuring that the uh, restored river contributes to the recharging local aquifers phyto remediation and uh, vegetative barriers so we could use uh, the plants to absorb and uh, degrade pollutants from the river and its surroundings phyto remediation comes under the nature based solutions or ecosystem based adaptation and these are very popular in uh, especially rejuvenating the water bodies or treating the polluted waters and uh, one could adopt these things also here native vegetation should be given uh, priority and uh, native plant species uh, along the river banks uh, would stabilize the soil and reduce erosion and absorb heavy metals and other pollutants from the water and soil so the overall biodiversity would also improve uh, by adopting the native vegetation so we should not give priority to the exotic species or in the name of beautification bringing all such species would uh, impact uh, the ecosystem and uh, in the long run that is not sustainable and no one would appreciate uh, such uh, uh, actions flotigation uh, this is the term i had given for uh, floating treatment wetlands or floating gardens that we could create so in uh, certain stagnant sections of the river to treat water using plants uh, known for their phyto remediation capabilities can be adopted so we could uh, adopt the floats uh, and um, over that we could add biochar uh, in the crates uh, created perforated crates created and on that we can directly grow the plants as the water would move the nutrients will be absorbed by the roots Uh, something like hydrophonics uh, it works out and uh, without any additional inputs with uh, nutrient load within the water the plants would uh, take all the nutrients and grow very nicely as well as uh, they would reduce the load uh, from the water and it's a kind of treating the water also apart from that this uh, floating islands or floating gardens they would uh, create uh, good nurseries for the uh, fishes and uh, would help lots of uh, aquatic life to flourish again the channel reconfiguration is very important these are like engineering solutions uh, here uh, the river the way it is and um, it always has some uh, natural meandering features as well as oxbow lakes uh, created all this depends on the where it is like the gradient so musi river already it has traveled about uh, uh, 
50 to 70 kilometers from its place of its origin by the time it enters Hyderabad and it has a particular gradient and uh, that space is required, rivers are not straight and uh, this uh, the natural elements of uh, river ecosystem need to be created and they also enhance the habitat diversity and improve water aeration too. Here I would like to discuss on the hybrid biochar bioengineering approaches. This is specific to my area of interest, but these things can be adopted very much into this uh, Musi river development or any other river development approaches also. So here in this hybrid biochar based bioengineering approaches involve merging natural and engineered systems to address environmental challenges drawing on the strength of both to achieve sustainable results. These methods typically incorporate living organisms such as plants and microbes alongside engineered structures and materials to improve the resilience, functionality and sustainability of environmental projects. This approach is especially effective in areas such as water management, soil restoration and ecosystem rehabilitation. Soil substrate for organic plant beds. So here we could use biochar to enhance the plant growth in organic beds. So that way we will be treating the soil as well as improving the water quality and help uh, the total soil enhance its properties fast and we will see the luxuriant growth of the plants. Again uh, because historically the Musi river had been contaminated uh, so much uh, we might remove certain sludge uh, from this river but still there could be some pollutants. So by adopting this biochar we could uh, help the soil get remediated from the contaminants and help the growth of the plants. So land reclamation along the Musi river can also be done using the biochar and it happens very quickly. This storm water management again whatever inflows get into the Musi river during uh, heavy rains. This is uh, during other normal times uh, we could have this uh, effluent treatment plants and uh, diversion drains, everything works. But during heavy rains, uh, the water directly enters into the river. So we could create certain zones with uh, biochar for managing this runoff and uh, improve the quality of that water by adopting biochar so that the infiltrated water is clean and even if it reaches the river, it doesn't affect the uh, its uh, ecosystem. The urban soil that is highly contaminated along the Musi river stretch, again it can be remediated and uh, would improve the growth of the vegetation. The wetlands for creating as well as to restore any the water logged areas are uh, constructed wetlands that are planned. Here by using biochar we can help this um, or improve the wetland ecosystem and restore the degraded wetlands. So instead of having that huge uh, common effluent, effluent treatment plants or uh, sewage treatment plants which are very energy intensive, we could create uh, this kind of uh, constructed wetlands uh, so where water is let pass through the biochar filters as well as uh, vegetated areas and uh, the water which comes out is uh, clean and this water can be let pass through the Musi river. So for treating the waste water so these are some of the simplest solutions. Overall the treated pond and lake water improves the water quality and uh, that would enhance the 
fish and other aquatic life and the birds visiting the ponds or this water body we could have the bhaycha filters uh, in different forms here within the water body but treating the water continuously by the natural systems the activated carbon or the high carbon that uh, we use for filtration of water plays an important role in the improving the water quality the bhaycher at the higher end is activated carbon that need to be adopted here the wastewater treatments uh, again here we have to integrate uh, bhaycher within that and uh, this would uh, improve the total quality of the water at the end the storm water biofiltration with the ridges of bhaycha are created and uh, when it let pass through these ridges of bhaycha then uh, the water gets uh, treated and uh, the quality of the storm water is improved and this is one of the biofiltration methods that we could adopt ultimately the carbon or the total carbon sequestration through this project uh, uh, by adopting the quantities of biochar or through wetlands the ecosystem that we would create and uh, total improvement of this uh, water uh, qualities with the least energy and uh, less impactful methods say nature based solutions or ecosystem based adoption station all this would enhance uh, even for us to submit for uh, this carbon credits too so uh, the carbon he plays an important role and biochar is one of the important aspects in this uh, restoration or rejuvenation of uh, musi river development thank you